Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's explore the fundamental theory. Now the fundamental theory of second order homogeneous differential equations. So they need to be second order, they need to be homogeneous, and they need differential equations. So let's read it. It says, if the solution of a linear homogeneous second order differential equation, and yes we use DE to represent differential equation, is multiplied by a constant, then the resulting function is also a solution. So if we find a solution, then we can multiply time as a constant, it is still a solution. And if we take the sum of two solutions, that will also be the solution or a solution to a second order homogeneous differential equation. So let's start with the equation y double prime plus y equals zero, because we've seen that before in the previous video. We knew that the solution to this can be y equal the sine of x or y equals the cosine of x. Either one of these were solutions to the differential equation. That means that if I take one of these solutions and multiply times a constant, it should still be a solution to the differential equation. So let's take, let's call this y1, let's call this y2, let's call a third function y3 is equal to five times the sine of x. Is that a solution to the differential equation? Well, according to the fundamental theory, it should be. Let's try it. So we have y sub 3 prime, that's equal to 5 times the cosine of x, and y double prime of that function is equal to negative 5 times the sine of x. Now let's plug those in, let's plug this and this into the original differential equation, let's see what we get. So when we do that, we get y double prime, which is minus 5 times the sine of x, plus y, which is 5 times the sine of x, and sure enough, that equals zero, so therefore, this is also a solution to that differential equation. What if we try this? What if we try another function, y is equal to, let's say, five times the sine of x minus two times the cosine of x? Again, that should also be a solution to the differential equation because I'm summing up two solutions. At this point, we realize that y equals two times the cosine of x should also be a solution. But and isn't a negative the same as a positive? Well, let's find out. So we try this, we go y prime is equal to five times the cosine of x, and then the derivative of this would be, the derivative of cosine is a negative sign, that would be plus two times the sine of x. And then y double prime is equal to negative five times the sine of x, plus two times the cosine of x. So if we plug this, and this into our original differential equation, do we then find out that that's a solution as well? So taking the differential equation here, y double prime minus five times the sine of x plus two times the cosine of x plus y, which is five times the sine of x minus two times the cosine of x, is that equal to zero? And we have minus five times the sine plus five times the sine plus two times the cosine minus two times the cosine, sure enough, that is indeed equal to zero, so therefore this is also a solution to the differential equation. So now that we realize, if we have, or now we realize, I should say, if we have a second order linear homogeneous differential equation, and I find the solution to that homogeneous differential equation, if I then multiply the solution times a constant, or add it to another solution, I will still end up with a solution to the differential equation. And that is known as the fundamental theorem.